So I hear a lot of people talking about human rights. And it just makes me think that we should start with the basics. You know, peace on earth starts with the most abused beings on the planet, which are marine life and the farmed animals. And, and obviously other animals that are used, such as like the circus animals and the sea life animals and things like that. So you get my gist. We've, we've got to start with those beings before we can tackle human rights, wars, famines and all that. Because that is in our grasp. We can start now with that. We can, we can choose to go into the supermarket and buy fruits, vegetables, pastas, rice, it's all in there. We each have power to do that. Every man on the street can do that, immediate, with immediate effect. So before we can run, we've got to walk or crawl even. But everyone skips that minor step, don't they? They skip that step of... The animals. I mean, this is where we the human beings as a species is just gonna just gonna fuck up. We've already fucked up. We've gone past the point of no return when it comes to environmental issues. It's now damage limitation. You know, we, we've the line is there and we've gone over that line now. So it's just it's literally like damage limitation. I mean, my friend works in environmental. He, he says, we're fucked, we're fucked, we, we, we were fucked years ago, now it's just damage limitation, but no one, no one. But if you are, if you ask like the um, average person on the street, they, they, they don't even believe, they don't even believe environment damage is happening, let alone like doing something about it, they're just like, ah, oh, it's just something that the government makes up or whatever, or the TV, it's not real, it's like, they're just, it's the elephant in the room. It's the elephant in the room. No one, no one blinds a, a, an eyelid that you know the, the damage that we're doing, and it all stems from killing animals. All this damage, half of it comes from killing animals and agriculture, cutting down the rainforest for to feed the animals. They export. The grains from Africa take it over to the Western world so that the Westerners can have their meat and dairy. It's just insanity. It's just insanity. I can't get my head around it. I just don't understand because my way of thinking is if something's wrong or if something isn't going right, you change it. But you change. Like... I can change something like that. If it's not working, I can't, you know, I can't drink out of this. That's my, you know. So I change it. I throw this away and get something else. I change I change what I drink out of. It's simple as that. To me, it's simple. But to other people, they go, no, well, you can't. You must have it, you know, uh, uh, keep this for another five years. And then, and then it's all complicated. Human beings seem to complicate stuff. I don't understand it. I don't understand. Well, I do understand it because it's, it's down to money. And people are manipulated, people are easily manipulated by the TV, the media, the papers, the government. People believe that the government is helping them. Even my family believe that there's, you know, when I, when I talk about, like, the environmental issues and global warming, I'm the life and soul of the party, don't I? But when, when, I, when we talk about the environmental issues and, like, a bit of politics... Some members of my family actually believe that they, they believe that the government is going to save us. They really do believe that the government is going to save us and get us out of this. They think that you know there's, there's people thinking and they're they're working on it, but it takes some time. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, so going back to the point, we need to start with the most abused beings on the planet, the marine life. 
the animals, the farmed animals. We need to stop harming these beings. That's the first step to world peace. If you don't do the fu fundamentals, the basics, the rest is just not going to, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. I mean, I know that some things are out of our hands. We can't go and stop, stop corrupt governments from going into other countries and starting wars like the general public it's we can't do much about we can go on marches can't we um but we can all do something about helping the animals we all have to eat and we could easily help the animals it's something every one of us on the planet can do boycott meat the meat production, boycott dairy, boycott buying animal products like leather shoes, leather coats, sheepskin coats, etc. Fur coats. We can all do that. That's within our grasp. We can't stop wars, but we can do we can help the animals. We can help marine life by not having um fish, like not eating Marine, marine life, lobsters, you know, anything, stop having animal products. We can eat, eat that is in our grasp. So we got, we got to do, we got to start with the fundamentals. You know, there's some psychopaths out there that love violence. They love fighting. They love wars. But most people don't want that. So we can make a change. Each of us can make a change on our everyday habits. That's easy. So my advice is, go vegan. Help these poor creatures. Help these poor beings, these innocent beings that don't want to be murdered. They don't want to be killed. They don't line up and say, I'm ready to have my throat cut and be cut into a million pieces. They're fighting every step of the way. I've seen these cows in a field being rounded up. And trying, trying to be put in the, in the back of an articulated cattle wagon. And they are kicking and screaming. They are, they, they are fighting for their lives because they know, they know what's happening. And the farmers are like going around, they're trying to get these cows in. The cows are fucking kicking out. Now you go up a cow in a, in a field and you can stroke a cow. So they know, they know what's happening. And they, they don't want that. They don't want to be have their fucking throats cut. They don't want that. The most precious thing they've got is their lives. So we can all do our bit. Like the general public, the, the person on the street has got so much power just to boycott that vile meat and dairy industry and the eggs and you can boycott all that shit and help these poor creatures so thanks for watching keep it vegan <laughs>